And a jury rights group is gearing up for a legal battle with one of the top judges in Central Florida. It says Chief Judge Belvin Perry is violating their First Amendment rights by banning people from handing out pamphlets to summoned jurors. Channel 9's Kenneth Moten is live at the Orange County Courthouse tonight. Kenneth, this group says it's just trying to educate jurors. That's right, Josh, but Chief Judge Belvin Perry says these pamphlets are impacting what he and others do inside this courthouse when it comes to picking an impartial jury. Every week, hundreds of potential jurors walk into the Orange County Courthouse, and just about every time, they're handed these pamphlets by the Fully Informed Jury Association, or FIJA, educating them on their rights. But this week, Chief Judge Belvin Perry stepped in, issued an order, and banned anyone from handing out the pamphlets at the Orange and Osceola County Courthouses. And what the judge is doing is basically he's squelching the freedom of speech here, which is, which is wrong. While a judge will tell jurors to not let their conscience or opinion affect their decision, FIJA organizer James Cox and his group promote the opposite. Here's an online video of volunteers for the nonprofit handing out pamphlets. Judge Perry said in his order another judge recently found a jury panel had been tampered with and were given leaflets containing information attempting to influence the jury. The information that's in the brochures is basically about cases in the past. It's not about up and coming cases. A judge has to protect a defendant's right to a fair trial. But First Amendment attorney Lawrence Walters says free speech is also a constitutional right, which is why he's considering challenging Judge Perry's order. The order is unconstitutionally overbroad and it's unconstitutionally vague in that it delegates too much discretion to law enforcement to decide who is trying to influence a juror. FIJA says there have been a handful of incidents where volunteers were charged with jury tampering and they were cleared. But in at least two cases, two people were convicted of violating an order similar to the one Judge Perry issued. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Kenneth Moten, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.